The long-awaited test launch of SpaceX's Starhopper spacecraft took place on August 28th. Elon Musk, the company's CEO, speculated on what a future version of the spacecraft would look like on Twitter the same day. He predicted that SpaceX's gigantic Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicle, which is expected to be the most powerful rocket ever built once completed, would be followed by a rocket several times larger. But how would this spaceship change the world of spacecrafts and engineering, and what does this big reveal mean? Hey, and welcome back to this channel. SpaceX just did a test flight to a prototype spaceship 1.0 and Elon Musk just revealed even bigger plans and enhancements to a prototype spaceship. What is the goal or drive of such ambition to do better? It appears Elon Musk may be having even bigger plans, not just reaching the space. Is it even possible to create a prototype and its advancements? Let's find out in today's video. A sub to the channel would be much appreciated. Comment, share the video, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the video. So let's get into it. There have been some exciting events unfolding in the last two weeks that I want to talk to you about today. As we saw the same stacking behaviour on the current Booster 3 that seemed to take SpaceX forever to assemble it, and then it was done in a matter of days. The same thing is now happening with Booster 4, and there's a good reason for it. SpaceX and Elon Musk are incredibly focused, and they are focused on a booster for Starship 2.0 and the orbital flight results. While many projects are going on at Starbase right now, the orbital flight results seem to be the one task to matter for the enhancement of Starship 2.0. The next generation Starship, Starship 2.0, will, according to Musk, be twice as huge as the spacecraft that will take personnel and cargo to the Moon and Mars. Musk made the statement in response to a question from one of his numerous Twitter followers. They wanted to know if Musk planned to create a larger version than was more akin to the Starship's original design at some point in the future. Deep in the heart of South Texas, Elon Musk's SpaceX is hard at work developing the next generation of space travel, dubbed Starship 1.0. Their top-of-the-line, one-of-a-kind spaceship is 30 feet in diameter, 180 feet tall and powered by the trademark Super Heavy launch vehicle which propels the Starship into Earth's orbit with the help of 31 Raptor engines. The first full fidelity prototypes of Starship are 30 feet circular, 180 feet tall. They are reusable spacecraft and upper stage and are now being assembled by SpaceX. Two prototypes, Mark I and Mark II, are being developed at the same time in Texas and Florida respectively while the first Super Heavy prototype is seen taking shape at SpaceX's Florida campus. With 30 250-ton thrust and 7 200-ton thrust Raptor engines mounted, Starship's Super Heavy booster will be the single most powerful rocket booster ever built. Standing at least 230 feet tall on its own and capable of producing up to 90,000 kilonewtons of thrust, the Super Heavy combined craft Starship 1.0 will be one of a kind and the first of its prototype to ever grace the stars. But the creation is more than just a regular breakout. Perhaps the most amazing thing about Starship is the fact that it is completely reusable. Unlike NASA's previous spaceships, the ability to reuse the ship is really what sets it apart and will make it much more financially enticing for SpaceX and any other space agencies. To describe the spacecraft as a modern engineering marvel would be an understatement. It really does raise the bar for future space travel. Years of spaceships and prototypes have all led up to this point. Despite the fact that his firm is manufacturing something revolutionary and ahead of its time, Elon Musk is already looking forward to the next edition of the spacecraft. He has even hinted at the possibility of a larger Starship model to cruise the Earth as well as specific variations of the spacecraft capable of point-to-point -point travel on Earth's payload shipments and excursions to the Moon and Mars. We haven't even been given a formal introduction to the first spaceship, Spaceship 1.0, and its potential is still yet to be fully utilised. When Musk and his colleagues considered the future of the legendary Starship vehicles, what do they possibly imagine? The concept of a Starship is that it will be a space vehicle capable of transporting freight and people. The dream is that the Starship will be able to take roughly 100 passengers on voyages around the Earth and space. 
The basic architecture and concept of the Starship are so appealing that NASA has tasked SpaceX with developing a few models for the transport of passengers, payloads and satellites. It will all be carried with ease, and that's only one aspect of the attractiveness of the Starship. The Starship is essentially delivering on SpaceX's promise of allowing humanity to roam the universe while also making life multiplanetary. It is a significant stride forward, incorporated to the NASA ships of the 1960s and 1970s. Simply, the Starship has revolutionized the game, making some features of space travel, like reusable and commercial flights, much more viable. Despite all these facts, you would think that the tremendous accomplishments of the Starship will be overwhelming to Elon Musk, but he appears to be a step ahead of the game. The founder of SpaceX is considering a larger and better spacecraft 2.0. So what does that imply? The majority of speculations suggest that future Starship evolutions will measure 18 meters in radius, which is a huge rocket. That is to say, it will have more power, propulsion and capability. Imagine what doubling the diameter of the spaceship could do. It could carry more passengers and cargo, and it could even break more records and top speeds. But it's not just the diameter of the ship that would be increased. If Starship 2.0 went from 9 to 18 metres, the ship's height would also be drastically altered. It is important to keep in mind that spaceships must have a precise and balanced height-to-width ratio. It's possible that the next version of Musk's spaceship will be 780 feet tall. As a result, the sequel to the Starship will be the highest and largest spaceship ever built. How would a ship like this be able to get off the ground in that case? It will undoubtedly necessitate a significant amount of power. The Raptor engines that are now being modelled for the first Starship would most likely be insufficient to launch the Spaceship 2.0 into space. This is a new generation of spacecraft, which necessitates a new engine. Even though the ship relied on the F-1 engine from the Saturn V, the most powerful single-chamber rocket engine ever developed, it wouldn't move an inch from the ground. We are talking about a 200-tonne spacecraft being shot to space. It all seems so impractical. Starship 2.0 would require at least 60 engines to launch. Anything smaller than that would just not be able to manage its launch. What might this mind-blowing monster of a spaceship be able to accomplish? You can bet that 200 people will board the Starship 2.0. To put it in perspective, any trips to transport cargo or any other type of item will be faster and more efficient, resulting in cost savings for SpaceX or any company that buys or rents a Starship 2.0. Currently, Musk claims that the first Starship will make a trip to Mars. With the size of the Starship 2.0 substantially enlarged, the facilities on board would almost certainly grow as well to offer comfort. It will have access to movies, seminars, restaurants and, of course, zero-gravity games, according to Musk. Let's face it, a trip through the dark space may feel rather constricting and possibly claustrophobic. If SpaceX builds a big spacecraft, passengers will have a lot more room to explore as they approach the Moon, Mars and potentially beyond, since the flights may take several days or even weeks. Speculative tweets from Elon Musk about the size of a future spacecraft aren't the same as firm plans for his private space enterprise. However, if SpaceX plans to build an even bigger Starhopper than the current 1.0, it will require a lot of skill, planning and a lot of new innovations to make it possible. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has had some ideas for what may come after the company's next generation launch vehicle in the coming decade. But for now, Starship is already more than ambitious enough on its own. However, the wildest part of Starship, SpaceX's completely non-traditional attempt to rewrite the book on rocket manufacture may make a Spaceship 2.0 considerably more realistic in the future, but the firm will have to show that its processes can be utilised to create reliable and high-performance rockets. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Do you think SpaceX's Starship 2.0 is possible? Do you think Elon Musk's dream of having an intergalactic world can come to fruition anytime soon? Comment below, let's engage. Also, if you are interested in more videos like this, please leave a like, share and subscribe our channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Goodbye, see you in the next video.